amid the intensive international efforts to extend the United Nations broker truce. Houthi militia continues to mobilize its troops and escalate in different fronts. This report has more details. Nearly three months passed since Yemen knew the taste of real peace after eight years of the conflict. The United Nations mediated truce was announced on the 2nd of April and then renewed for two other months with a total compliance from the government board and daily violations from the Houthi militia's part. Under the truce, Sana'a airport was reopened, passports issued by the militia were approved, fuel ships were allowed to enter the port of Oreira and the militia collected custom fees in order to pay the disrupted salaries. The Houthi militia found the truce an opportunity to mobilize and to achieve what it was unable to do in the time of war. The Houthis used the truce to push military reinforcements to various fronts. Not only that, the rebels used the policy of procrastination in implementing their commitments and they refused to relieve citizens in Taz and the rest of the governorates through opening the crossings, ports and roads and left the siege on cities. The government forces announced they had documented more than 10,000 violations of the truce committed by the Iranian Houthi militia since its entry into force last April. The militia continued to send military reinforcements to the fighting fronts, build trenches and barricades, open new training camps, increase mobilization and launch a number of spy drones. Houthi's refusal comes with indirect European and American assistance and they pressure towards extending the truce for a new long period, even if the Houthi siege on cities and civilians is continuing. The United Nations Special Envoy Hans Gramberg, in addition, called on all parties to accept another extension of the truce for six months, which is seen as an encouragement for the Houthis to continue blocking peace. In the eyes of the Yemeni, the truce has become fragile, in light of the continuation of Houthi violations, so that demand for a military solution is in the rise. Observers confirm that the military solution is the most effective one with a militia that only understand the language of force, stressing the importance of unifying the ranks of Yemenis to restore their republic.